Hey guys, it's Peter Fry, and welcome to the Living with Hope podcast, a daily devotional where we dig into God's Word and explore what it means to live with hope in Jesus. It's Sunday, which means we're doing Sundays in the Psalms, where we're just simply reading a psalm together on Sunday mornings and praying it. I find this to be a helpful practice in my own life to help guide me in my prayer and to prepare my heart for worship, especially on Sundays when we gather with a local church. And so, Psalm 121, I lift my eyes up to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun will not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. God, we lift our eyes to you today. We pray, where does our help come? It comes from you alone. And we are so grateful that the maker of heaven and earth cares for us. You said in the Sermon on the Mount that just as you care for the lilies of the field, how much more do you care for us? And so, Lord, we acknowledge this morning that our help comes from you. And in acknowledging that, we recognize that we need help. Lord, you've made this promise that you won't let our foot be moved and you don't sleep, but you are always there. And God, I pray that in the times when we do not see you, would you remind us that you are there, that you're our keeper, that you uh, protect us by day and you protect us by night. You are our guide. And God, uh, help us to trust you, that you will keep us from all evil, that you will uh, keep our life. And Lord, I know that that doesn't mean that there won't be brokenness. Uh, Lord, but I pray that in the midst of that, we would recognize that it is you alone who keeps us. That, that, that guards our heart and mind. And I pray that as Paul prayed in Philippians 4, that the peace of Christ, which transcends all understanding, would guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Lord, you keep our going out and our coming in. And so whatever we have ahead this week, Lord, we go into this week with the acknowledgement that when we come and when we go, you go before us that you are the keeper of our heart, you are the keeper of our mind, and you are the protector of our hearts when we battle discouragement, when we uh, fear the evil around us. God, we want to walk with you, trusting you from this time forth and forevermore. So Lord, we turn our eyes to the hills and pray, where does our help come from? It comes from you alone. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.